A once white shoe law firm brought to bankruptcy. Ashby Jones is here to tell us about the what can only be described as spectacular slide of Dewey LaBeouf over the last couple of months. Ashby, we've watched this, and I say spectacular not to make light of it, but just because of the once high profile firm that this once was, and then to find it where it is today is, is truly you know, something that, to watch, and I'm sure you've been following it closely. What happened here? Uh, give us a sense of this law firm, what it was, and, and where we are today. Well, what it was, it was one of the, the larger uh, law firms in New York, a lot of extremely well-regarded lawyers. Um, they had built up the law firm over a number of years basically um, through a strategy that didn't work. And the strategy was we will pay really, really um, well-regarded lawyers from other law firms a lot of money to come into Dewey and LaBeouf and hoping that they would bring their clients and the money would follow and then they would be able to build up practice areas based on these high-priced imports essentially. What happened was, really, it was very simple. I mean, they didn't make enough money to keep paying these people the high-priced the, packages. The high packages, and they started uh, skimping on some of the lower-level partners, and all of a sudden they started leaving, others started leaving, and it's sort of a run-on-the-bank type of situation with a law firm um, because that's the only thing that to hold it together is the people. Um, right. there's, no, there's nothing that they produce. There's, you know, it's, it, once the people start leaving, panic can set in, and that's really what happened here. And, and we have a timeline of events that, that, that up on the screen right now, and you can really see in April of this year, 67 partners left uh, since January, and then it just seemed from there more and more of the higher-profile partners were, were, were bailing on, you know, leaving the ship, as exactly, they say. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that's, it's, it's remarkable because you look at that and, and it, it doesn't tell the full story, but I mean, as of January, the firm, you know, by all uh, accounts was looking looking pretty good and it was having its problems, certainly, but everybody was still there. Nobody was really talking about filing for a bankruptcy. And, uh, you know, five months later, here we are, the firm, um, as you said, filed for Chapter 11 protection um, yesterday, and it's essentially, it's essentially over. Um, it's just a matter of winding things down now. So it's a really, really sad, uh, sad story for the legal profession here. And really, you, you know, when you think about it, they probably have a lot of ongoing casework going on right now, a lot of clients, a lot of high-profile clients. What happens to, to those cases, to those clients right now? Well, well uh, for the most part, I think uh, they'll, they'll be fine. The clients will follow the lead lawyers that they've been working with at Dewey. Most of those lawyers have, have since gone on and found um, employment at other, you know, well-regarded law firms. Um, so, so things will, uh, will continue and, and stay relatively stable. However, there, there have been some hiccups. There have been some cases that have had to been delayed because of the ongoing uh, situations at Dewey and LaBeouf. For the most part, things will be stable. Um, the next big thing to look for, uh, of course, is, is litigation. Um, who's going to be suing the law firm? Who's going to be suing other partners? It could get really ugly really quickly here.